Hey everyone, it's Carter from Wheel of Fire Alarms here, and today we are going to be installing a demonstration system inside this wall, which is going to be pretty cool. We're just going to have a device and a pole station, that's it. So I have a BG-12 here, and I think we're going to probably stick in the system sensor mass for now, although that's going to change. But we're going to go ahead and put it inside here. So I'll be filming the process on how we're doing that, and it should be pretty fun. Let's get started. So for this install, we're going to be using these plastic boxes. On the wall, I've gone ahead and drawn out where that box is going to go. So we're going to go ahead and cut a hole, put that box in, and that way the pole station can be flush on the wall like this. So it'll look pretty professional and nice. On a professional install, we would use a fire alarm wire, but uh, I'm going to be using this uh, speaker wire that has uh, four wires bundled into one. So a lot of times it's used for security systems and stuff like that, and that's what we're going to be using. So here are the tools that I used for this project. Not pictured are a drill and a level. I also used a couple more back boxes than just the one pictured here. So the first step was to go ahead and cut out a hole for the back box. So here's the one for the pull station. And then I also added a hole up at the top for the notification unit as is pictured right there. And then we also added a hole down below, and this is where the batteries are going to connect. And then the next thing we did is we went ahead and pulled the wire through with string. It made it a little bit easier to feed through the hole and get around the studs. So here's the wire going through the notification unit hole out the other end where the batteries are going to connect. And the next thing was to feed the wire through the back boxes, making sure that we had enough not wire not to cause strain. And we did the same thing for the other two back boxes. And all that was left to do was to go ahead and drill the back boxes into the wall. All right, so now we're finished and here is the result. So down here I have a box just to connect things together. Uh, we're gonna put a, I'm gonna put like a little plastic flap thing on there so the wires can come out. Eventually I'm gonna connect this to the system in the garage. We'll see when that happens though. Here's the pull station box. Obviously strip the wires out so uh, I can go ahead and wire that up here pretty soon. Here's the notification unit one. This one's metal just because it would fit the holes for the alarms easier. And obviously here's the wires for that. So there's the setup. And now I just have to install the devices on there and wire it up and we're good to go. All right, so all the devices are installed. As you can see, it's flush up against the light switch. I think it looks very nice. Up here we have the system sensor mass. I actually have my Federal Signal speaker strobe trim plate around it just so it looks a little more nice and you don't see the edges of the box. I'm hoping to get a real system sensor mass trim plate at some point, but for now, this is what I have. And then obviously I still need to do some work here just to clean this up, but for now we have a temporary setup going to a pack of batteries. I'll clean that up later, but we'll go ahead and give a quick demo of this new setup. Here we go. And there we are. That is how you install fire alarms on a wall like this. I hope to use this setup uh, at some point with various videos. So look forward to seeing it around. With that being said, like the video, leave comments, check out the merch store. The link is in the description. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.